Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw the Tasmanian Devil. Let's get started in the center of our page with the nose. I'm going to start with an oval, starting from the very top, curve out towards the left, and then back around towards the top. Now on the left side at the very top here, I'm going to draw a smaller oval for the highlight. And then we're going to color the bottom area in black. Just above the nose, I'm going to draw a curve from left to right. We're going to step out, curve up towards the top of the nose, and then back down on the right side. Now let's move down and draw on the top edge of the mouth. So we're going to step over towards the left. We're going to curve down, and we'll pull this up towards the middle of the nose. Now from the center, we're going to do the same thing on the right, coming down, and then back up. On either side, we're going to draw two small dots, one above each other. Now we're going to close off the top of the mouth with a curve. Starting from the inside, we're going to curve over the mouth and then out. Now let's curve out the side of the mouth. So we're going to step over, curving out, and then back in. Now I'm going to overlap these two points with a curve. So we're going to step out, going up in the middle, and then back down on the right side. Let's fold over the lower lip. So we're gonna start on the left side here. We're gonna go around that point with a curve coming down. Now we're gonna go up in the middle and then just flatten it out. We're gonna step back going across and down and then around the right corner of the mouth going up. Let's go to the inside and draw on some fangs. So I'm gonna start at the bottom curve of the mouth. On the left side, we're gonna come down and in. Then we're gonna hook and taper that back up. Do the same thing on the right. Now let's add two smaller fangs on the inside. Starting on the left, we're going to curve down. Now we're going to pull this up towards the middle. We'll do the same thing on the right. Now let's stack a few more teeth along the outside. Starting on the left, we're going to hook it down, curve out, and then up towards the top of the mouth. Now we're going to tuck two more teeth on either side. So it's about halfway down the tooth, we're going to angle out curve out, and then up. Now let's add in the bottom teeth. So we're going to leave a gap in the center. On the left side, we're going to curve up towards the top tooth, and then taper it back down on the outside. Let's add another tooth right beside it. Curving up, and then back down. Now we're gonna add one more on the outside, but we wanna show a little bit of the gum. So halfway down this tooth, I'm gonna to curve up. Now I'm gonna curve out and then pull that in towards the outside of the tooth, going out and then just pulling that back in. Now let's move back up and draw in the lower half of the body. So just along this curve, we're gonna step in, we're gonna curve up and then out towards the left. Now we're going to taper this back in to create a point, just a point of fur on either side. Now we're going to curve out and then back down, going around the mouth and then down on either side. Now let's taper that back up again to create one more point. Now the body is going to come around the mouth and then in and then round out along the bottom. So let's start on the left side, we're going to go around the mouth and then just pull that in. Do the same thing on the right, going around the mouth and then in. We're gonna come down and then just round out the bottom. So on the left side, we're gonna blend into a curve coming downward, we'll round out the lower torso, come up on the right side, and I'm just gonna blend this in. In the center of the body, I wanna add one little curve for the wrinkle, coming down and then up. Now let's move up and draw on the eyes. We're gonna start with the eyelid first. So in the center at the top of the nose, I'm gonna curve up and then out towards the left. Go back to the center and curve up and out towards the right. From here, we're gonna curve down and in towards the top of the cheeks. 
Let's add two small circles tucked in underneath the eyelid. So on the left side, go around, do the same thing on the right. Now we're gonna fill those in black. Now let's thicken up the eyelid. So we're gonna start on the outside of the eye, we're gonna step out, just follow the same curve going up towards the top of the eye. From here, we're gonna angle up and out. Let's do the same thing on the right. Curving up alongside the eye, angle up and out. Now from here, we're gonna thicken up the eye and then come down towards the center. So we're gonna come up and then just pull that down towards the middle. Do the same thing on the right. Let's go in and fill those areas in black. Let's move to the side and draw in the ears. So from this point in the eyelid, we're gonna step out, curve out, round out the ear, and just pull that in towards the top of the cheek. Do the same thing on the right, stepping out, curving up and out, and pulling that back in. From the outside of the ear, we're gonna curve around, and then down on top of the cheek on both sides. And then from here, we're gonna add in the two horns. Starting on the left, on top of the ear, we're gonna curve out and up. We're gonna taper that back in with a short curve. Now we're gonna curve up again, going a little bit higher and in. Let's do the same thing on the right. Curving up, tapering down with a short curve. Now we're gonna go up to the same height, going out and then up. Let's pull this back in. On the left, we'll come down just on top of the eyelid, doing the same thing on the right. In this center area, we're gonna add in the hair. So let's start on the left side. We're gonna start with a curve going up towards the top. We're gonna to taper that back down with a short curve. Now from here, we're gonna curve around the hair, around the top of the head going up and then over. Let's taper that back over towards the left. From this point, I'm gonna curve around, just touching the inside of that horn and then down. Come around, go into that line and then down. We're gonna taper that back up. Upwards, let's draw another point. Coming down on top of the right eye, coming back up. We'll draw one more, curling down and over towards the left. I'm just gonna hook that back over, coming across. We're gonna add a couple whiskers along the top of the mouth. So from this dot, we're gonna step over, curving out and then down. We'll step down and curve over and down. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now let's move down and draw on the legs. We're gonna start with the lower part of the legs first. So on the left side, just underneath the belly, we're gonna curve up and then down on the right side, leaving a little bit of space underneath the belly. Now we're gonna curve down and in towards the heel. So on the left side, we're gonna step in to create an overlap, come down and then in. Now let's go back to the left side and draw on this foot. We're gonna start with the first toe, curve down and over towards the left. We're gonna round up the toe and then just pull that back. We're gonna stack two more toes. So at the tip of this toe, we're gonna to curve out and then pull that back. Now the third toe again from this tip, we're gonna curve around. Now we're just gonna pull that in towards the ankle. Let's take that and flip it over on the right side. Starting from the heel, curve down, over towards the first toe, round up the toe and then pull that back. From the tip, we'll go out Pull that back, and then finally the third toe is gonna to go out, over, and then in towards the ankle. Now from the ankle, we're gonna curve out towards the knee, going up and out. And we're gonna add some hair along the knees. The left side, we're just gonna hook it down, and then taper it back up. Let's go to the right side and do the same. Now we're gonna add one more, curving out, now this is gonna curve up the top of the leg in behind the body. Going up and then in. Let's do the same thing on the right. Add one more point of fur. Now we're gonna curve around and then in behind the body. Now we're gonna move up and draw on the arms. So we're gonna have the arms bent coming down. So we're gonna start just beside the cheek with a curve going up and then out. We're gonna do the same thing on the right side. Now we're gonna curve down the forearm Coming out and then down. Now back on the left side, we're gonna have the hand clenched like this. So we start with a thumb with a half circle coming in 
and then back out. Now at the end of the thumb, we're going to draw a small bracket. At the bottom of the thumb, we're going to go around the bracket, coming down, and then going back up. Let's add two more fingers. From this point, we're going to step down, curve down, and then up the second finger. Now the third finger, we're going to step down, curve around. Now we're going to pull this in towards the wrist, leaving a little bit of space. Let's take that and flip it over on the right. Start with a half circle for the thumb, and at the end of the thumb, we'll add the bracket. At the bottom of the thumb, go around the bracket, curve up the first finger. Now from the top, we're going to step down, curve down and up the second finger, step down, curve around in towards the wrist. Let's go back to the left side. We're going to thicken up the arm as it comes up towards the elbow. Starting from the wrist, we're going to curve out and then up. From here, let's add some fur, just like we did with the knee. Curve out and down. We're gonna hook that over. Then we draw one more. We're gonna go upwards this time, going up. Now we're gonna draw a wave coming in behind the head. So we're gonna curve across and down. Now right here, we're gonna go straight across in towards the ear. Let's do the same thing on the right. Start with the outside of the arm. We're gonna thicken this up as we come up towards the elbow. Draw one point, going down and then back up. Now we're gonna aim this one going upwards, going up. Now again, we're gonna wave this back in. Start by curving across and in. Now right here, we're gonna pull that across, in behind the ear, and that's pretty much it. There we have it, there's a Tasmanian Devil. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe, and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.